Alright, let's have a look around. I look forward to jump maps in this because they should look a lot better than they did previously. So, you can't go in there. This is still the same. Ooh, this is interesting. How do I make the, the round like 25 minutes long? Oh, I don't think you can land on that. Try one more time. <coughs> There's this thing in the menu called auto buy. Um, it buys stuff, but I don't know if you can tell it what to buy. I don't know. I'm not sure how much protection that offers. Yeah, definitely can't touch that. I'm wondering if, even if you get boosted, is there enough space to get up here? I don't think so. Okay, so... I don't think that goes through. Or does it? Oh, it's continuing. Okay, let's try... Is that bullets? I don't think it is. I think it's just, um... No, it's not bullets. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty solid game. Look, it doesn't even go through this. Nothing. Okay. So, that's fairly similar. This is always a good position. I guess you could be more like this now than like that. It's a bit of an awkward angle. It seems I think you could sit here previously and you could see like you could see this area, but now this has been lowered, so you can't really so you'd have to go here. I mean I I guess this would be ideal maybe. Or kind of here. And then you're exposed at the back. So yeah, that's interesting. This is pretty much the same. I think these were here before. I can't remember. Um, again, all the barrels cannot be moved now. You can't shoot them to move them at all or anything like that. I don't know if you could boost someone up here. It looks like you could. I would, I'd would. i be surprised if you couldn't. Why would it be there otherwise? I don't know what this purpose this serves. You can't jump on this construction here. Oh shit. Yeah, the buy menu's a pain. Fail. Bom 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 bom. So at least you have more defensive options here as a uh terrorist. It seems to be more spacious in terms of how you defend yourself from this and here as well. Although you'll probably get snipered if you you don't have that much space to manoeuvre with, but there we go. Yeah, so here, I, I'd say this is the most significant change I've seen on this map. Before you could essentially camp here with a, with a Mac-10, 
wait for someone to run past and shoot them. This is a good change because it was a cheap tactic, didn't involve any skill, and um, I just I, I don't see what it brought to the table. Right. But you can still do this. Okay. Well, in terms of in terms of a rush, you're not going to get up here in time. <coughs> because you should get about here when the counter terrorists get maybe there. Or actually no, I think you I think they will get there when you get about here, so Alright. Let's do a simulation rush, shall we? I suppose I suppose you're still going to be exposed to grenades. I don't think it will give you I guess it depends on where the, gr the grenade lands, but Oh. Alright. So we're rushing, we're rushing, we're rushing. Okay, there's no route one, you have to be a bit careful. Jumping up from here, you're going to get hit by grenades. Once you're here though, if a grenade lands here, here or here, it should hit you in the head. Whereas if it lands anywhere in here, you'll be protected. If it comes off here, as a lot of people will make it come off there, and lands here, then it shouldn't hit you at all. Although, there is actually there isn't that much space that covers it completely with this box, so it may well hit you. But if it goes in this area, then you shouldn't be hit by it. As a CT, I think it does more harm than good, to be honest, because it's hard to manoeuvre quickly um, if you want to dodge a bullet. That's good to know that all works properly. moving. They removed those boxes from down here which is good because it was just cheap again. That's cool. That is very good actually. It's another little thing that you might not notice. You can run along here now. So you're not completely exposed if you choose to stand up here for some reason. I suppose here you can... You can shoot and poke. So I think that's a good advantage for the uh, CTs. It also works both ways. The Ts can uh, get up here so they're not pinned down so much on this side. Okay. No. Purely visual, no elemental damage. So it looks like a potential boost. I'm guessing you couldn't get up there. Although it did hit it. Which suggests otherwise. But I don't know whether... I imagine we, we would be hitting the uh, roof of the map around here somewhere. For, for the humans, but there we go. Um... Not a lot going on here, okay. This is interesting, a little addition here. I guess this 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 here changes the way this area changes the choke points, whereas CT would have nothing essentially to have the natural wall here to give them some cover. But I suppose they have some cover, a little bit of cover here, but the main cover I suppose would be there for someone to sit with an M4A1 
Check B a bit more. Okay, no, no problemo. I think um, because of the new grenades, the way you can fr throw them so hard and fast, and the way they bounce, if someone's here, as in here, if someone throws a grenade from there, it's going to land on their face. I think um, this is a potential boost, a potential boost point here, which would give you some cover with this, which might be why they've lowered this, because this was, what, double the height, or I think it had another brick on top previously, but obviously if that was any higher, then you couldn't boost up to there, so again, this is another deliberate change, they've um, put these here so you can boost someone on there to take pot shots over here and maybe if they crouch then they're completely covered or just the tip of their head is there another potential defensive point for uh, terrorists and I think you're exposed here so it's well put it's, so you're not you know it's not a cheap position because you're still exposed from here so anyone coming up any CT coming up from here is going to just pop you off from about here. So, yeah, that's very well placed. And I suppose this serves to shoot up there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you could shoot that point from here. I need someone else to test that with. So we've covered this area already. So we should start from over here, shouldn't we? So this is a, a pot shot area, historically. Doesn't serve any cover opportunities. I suppose this is the same as it was. Feels more open in this area. Um, to what end, I don't know. I don't know if this feels a little bit... No, it's not narrower. I like this design, it's really nice. It feels very Half-Life 2-y, don't you think? Yeah, I, I play Source a little bit, but Source is crap in comparison to 1.6, let's be honest. Shuffling around. I think it's fairly obvious you can boost someone there to cover this area. This is interesting. Um, I suppose people would be maybe stand right here and strafe to um, spam, which is maybe why they put that there to create different avenues of attack. So you've still got more space. I think I think you I think this is wider. Maybe so you don't get hit by you don't take as much damage from grenade as you as you otherwise would. This is interesting as well. It's a sniper, not sniper position, or um, primary ri primary rifle position, aka M four A one. Again, you're exposed through the doors here if you stand here, which is interesting. And here, I suppose you're exposed from here. So this has changed. This is a good change in my opinion because it was broken before. So previously you had something much higher than head height here so snipers could pop out and just pap 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 you. Oh, that's rubbish. But now you can shoot them in the face which is great and I don't know. To me it feels like my head is exposed um, but I don't know if it is so we'll have to check. Immovable objects. Okay, this is interesting. I suppose you can jump on there without exposing yourself too much to this window. So you can shoot people 
in this area without being exposed to people in this area. Although I guess you can do it to a, to a degree here, but obviously you're safer over there than you are over here, because you know it seems it seems that your the, your model goes beyond your scope of vision. So say my right shoulder may be visible to someone who's in this area, whereas I'm not visible to them. That's the impression I get from um, the plays we've had so far. So again, another small change, so it's not so impossible in certain situations. So I think I like the changes to both. Uh, to both bomb sites so far. So again, you can't spray through this wall, which it was again was a bit of a gambling guessing game. So I don't think that's a bad change. People will whine about it, but again, you can't go into this game expecting it to be another a different game, you know, an old game because it's not. It's a new game, and things won't be the same. Otherwise, why make the game? Something people will have to accept, really. No. Nope. What's in the box? Nothing. Can you jump the ledge? What do you mean exactly, can you jump the ledge? Can I jump off a ledge? From the upper platform box to pigeonhole. Do you mean this? I th I'm guessing this is what you mean and I didn't feel like I hit a ceiling here. Can you jump from the ground to B platform ledge? Do you mean this? Yes. I don't think you could do that before, could you? I'm not sure. No, I think you needed, needed a boost, but yeah, there you go. The clouds suck. Okay, if you're if you're playing this game for the clouds, I think you're playing the wrong game. I'm just going to leave that there. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I suppose the benefit of this is if someone comes running out shooting you here and your head is here, then you're going to have a better chance. Okay. So again, um, oh, this is actually not a bad spot because, okay, I'm definitely hitting the ceiling now. You can see. But this is a good position because you can't be shot from the outside here. If someone comes here and shoots you, then your teammates suck. So I think this is a pretty good uh, spot. But then, but then again, I think. You're going to need flashbangs to um, combat this position.